It's fast, it's cheap, and it's a rising hub for NFTs. But is it sustainable? Solana is currently the number nine on coin market cap, just behind Cardano. Its speedy rise has impressed many, but now it may be falling out of favor faster than you might expect. In this video, I am discussing the current state of Solana and what you need to know about why the project is showing a unique weakness. If you'd like to see more, like the video. If you want to see even more than that, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Every day we go live at 10 a.m. to bring you what matters in crypto prices and the industrial developments of this space. Now without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Let's be honest, Solana, like most of crypto, follows Bitcoin. Solana's frustrating movements to the downside during the spring of 2022 is mostly due to the same factors that have produced the sell-off in Bitcoin and Ethereum during the same time. The U.S. Federal Reserve's hawkish approach to interest rates and bond buying has caused investors all over the world to reduce their portfolio's exposure to higher-risk investments. Retail investors especially, people like you and me, have sold their cryptos in anticipation of a looming U.S. recession so that they will have capital to reinvest at lower levels and pay for basic necessities. This fear of a FUD-fueled recession is currently the strongest force in the market and is bringing cryptocurrencies like Solana down to price levels it has not seen since August of 2021. But before I credit Solana's decline purely to the overall market sentiment, let's take a closer look at what makes Solana unique to the rest of the cryptocurrency markets. First of all, it would be helpful to know where Solana stacks up against the other top 10 cryptos on coin market cap. During a 90-day span from February 22nd to May the 23rd of 2022, Solana experienced the most losses of its top 10 crypto peers, recording a 43.12% decline. Bitcoin recorded a 23.26% decline, and Binance only recorded a 12.83% decline in the same time period. So why might Solana's bears be roaring the loudest? The answer that I think is most valid at this time is that the crypto market currently consists of more crypto educated traders and investors than usual. By educated, I don't mean that they all went off to some crypto university of the future, although that sounds cool and kind of like Club DeFi. No, what I mean is that the traders in the market right now consist of a greater portion of folks who understand the real value of cryptocurrencies as a superior tool for economies and don't just view crypto as a way to strike it rich quick. The fly-by-night fast and dumb money has mostly left crypto for now and has left behind more of the experienced and knowledgeable nerds such as myself and the team here at the channel. As such, the more experienced crypto natives understand that while Solana is indeed fast and cheap as it claims, it also comes with a rather ugly centralized underbelly. Decentralization is the secret sauce when it comes to crypto, if you will. Bitcoin's decentralization took the world by storm because it showed that unlike how central banks control the supply of fiat currency, decentralized money is neutral public infrastructure and can't be manipulated by any central authority. Solana was fine with wearing the name cryptocurrency to get people interested, but in practice, Solana ranks pretty low among other cryptos when it comes to decentralization. This image from Masari.io illustrates in blue the percentage of coins that were initially distributed to public purchase. Notice that Solana's public distribution is a mere sliver at less than 2%, while insiders and founders hold 61% for themselves. Public distribution is important because the public needs to hold as much of a currency as possible for decentralization to be maximized. But this is just one glaring example of Solana's decentralization issue. Solana also has a comparatively low number of nodes in its network. Each node holds the full ledger of a blockchain. The more nodes you have in the network, the more secure and resilient it is. According to CoinCodex.com, Solana has about 1,603 versus Ethereum 6,000 or Cardano's 3,173 nodes. With Solana, decentralization is clearly not the name of the game, but they've gotten far by hiding behind their really fast blockchain network and low gas fees. But now that we see traders selling Solana faster than any of the other top 10 cryptos, it may be an early indication that Solana could be falling out of favor with a more crypto-educated class of traders that care a lot more about true decentralization. But I want to hear from you. Do you agree that Solana's bearish moves are in line with the greater market movement, or do you think traders are selling off Sol? because it could be the next crypto to die in this current crypto Darwinian event. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found my analysis of the current state of Solana useful, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on all of our social media at CryptoJeb over on Instagram and Twitter at CryptoJebOfficial on TikTok. Subscribe to the channel. Tune into our 10 a.m. Eastern morning show called Coffee and Crypto Live. We go live every single day of the week. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.
Whoa! Whoa! Look at this guy. He watched the entire video. What a cool guy. I think the next thing that he wants to do is hit the like button and then probably even subscribe to the channel. And perhaps even comment down below what he thought. That, that would be pretty cool. Wow. What a cool guy.